Hey, I'm Ronnie Lambeth, and this is the School of Wealth. Hey, let me ask you a question. How would you feel after spending the last couple of years working on your credit to make sure that it was perfect, coming up with a budget and sticking to that budget, living below your means, saving money every month so you can go in and buy a new truck? The truck that you've been working on saving for for the last several years the truck that you've woke up thinking about went to bed thinking about think about it during the day a goal and after spending years working on your credit saving up the money you sit down at the dealership knowing you're gonna get this truck you picked it all out it's got the right leather the right packages the right mufflers it sounds great it drives great it smells great everything is perfect about this truck and he pulls your credit and you're proud because you've been working so hard and you know you're going to get the 0% financing. Worst case, maybe 1.9 because after all, you deserve it. And the guy says to you, he's like, man, I don't know how to tell this to you, but I can get you the truck. But the bad news, you got bad credit. And you're like, what do you mean I got bad credit? I've been working on it. I've been following this guy named Rondi on Instagram and social media and he's taught me how to fix my credit. I know I have good credit. I looked at it last week. He's like, no, you got collection on there. You got this collection, it says it's a medical bill for like 300 bucks. And unfortunately because of that collection, I can't get you that top rated financing, but I can get you the truck. But the interest rate's gonna be 19.99. So do you want the truck or not? How would that make you feel? How would it make you feel knowing that you had spent so much time working on this and sacrificed so much? And now because of a collection that you don't know about, never heard of before, it wasn't there last week, it's 300 bucks, you have no idea what it's from. Now instead of your truck payment being $624 a month, which you can easily afford, it's gonna be almost $1,200. How would that make you feel? Now, I don't know about you, but I've had that feeling before. I've had that happen to me. I had it happen to uh, a client yesterday. Guy reached out, done everything right, and all of a sudden he went in to buy a new truck. Sure enough, new collection, can't get it. And this, is, this happens all the time. And what's crazy about it is I looked at the credit report. Unknown. The credit bureaus don't even know who the collection company is. It says unknown. It's so a $300 collection, and that $300 collection is gonna cost this kid 600 bucks a month for the next six years. $7,200 for the next six years if he went forward with it. What can you do if this happened to you? Well, you should know a couple things. Why does a $300 collection impact you the way that it does? You might be thinking it's only 300 bucks. I mean, come on, it's 300 bucks. Well, here's how FICO looks at it. In order for them to legally report the medical collection, there's a couple things they must do. They must notify you of the debt. They must wait a minimum of six months of your veteran 12 before ever putting on your credit. They must send you letters. They must call you. They must notify you. They must give you the opportunity to dispute it. And so FICO looks at it as, hey, you've ignored these people. You've ignored numerous phone calls, numerous letters, and therefore you can't be trusted with your money. And so they drop your credit score 100 to 200 points on a collection, on a bill that may or may not even be yours. So what can you do about it? You need to dispute the account and ask the collection company to validate the debt called debt validation. And it's really simple. Dear unknown collection company, because you don't even know their name. Recently, I looked at my credit report and you're on there. I have no idea who you are. I've never received a letter from you. I've never received a phone call from you. Please validate this debt. And when I say validate, I wanna know who I owe the money to, why I owe the money, and from when I owe the money. And if you can't validate the debt, please remove it from my credit report immediately. Now the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act states that if you dispute the collection and ask for debt validation, they must immediately, not when they get around to it, but must immediately stop the collection action, which includes reporting it on your credit file. However, one of the reasons that I'm in business is collection companies don't follow the law and they ignore this. And when they ignore it, um, I have a law firm that we refer to almost every day that will file a lawsuit against the collection companies and make them pay for their 
blatant ignoring of the law. So here's what you can do. Dispute the debt. If it doesn't come off, then you can dispute it a second time. If it doesn't come off, uh, you can hire a law firm. There's lots of law firms out there. I would specifically only work with a law firm that understands the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act and that sues collection companies and has experience with this. If you found yourself in this position and you don't want to do the work yourself and you want a professional to do it, let me know. I'm paid on performance, the only credit repair company in America that is paid on performance, the first credit repair company in America that's paid on performance. The rest of them, they simply get paid to try. You send them your money, they hope and pray they get it deleted, and if they don't, you still pay them. With my company, you only pay me if I get the result. It's unfortunate to go through an experience like that. It's gut-wrenching. I can tell you it happened to me in 2009 when I bought my Toyota Tundra. I qualified for 0% financing. I went in, I sold my vehicle, had my down payment, went in only to find out that my kids' mother, who I was a divorce from, was writing bad checks. And unfortunately, the collection showed up on my credit report and I went from that 0% to almost 20% interest and I was stuck. Fortunately for me, I knew how to fix it. So I got the loan, I fixed my credit and 30 days later I refinanced it. But that could have been a lot worse. So if I can help you with your credit, please let me know. Hope that never happens to you. Have a great day.